<laughs> yeah, I was letting it. I'm uh, trying to save uh, diaphragm energy, so I was just letting it all pile up. And I <laughs> For just the last fu- four months, I, a full owl pellet just came out of my mouth. There was feathers, <laughs> some rat bones. Oh my god! That's... Holy shit! Oh. <laughs> hey, fucking hey, that Scott. is scary. Hey, what's going on, Gino? My intern. I'm back, We're back baby. In We're the all studio. back, baby. We're in the studio. I'm out of the cult. Everything is going to be fucking groovy, like That's Bruce right. Campbell always says. You were in a cult. That's right. We we talked about it, or we didn't talk about it. I'm not positive. Positive, to be honest. I don't know. <laughs> I know Wait, is that came, unrelated? Because you came and saw me. Are you just not, telling me you're not positive? No, I'm positive. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, I'm ace oh, You test. should not be in the studio here. <laughs> I got all... No, not that... Oh, I'm, oh, oh I don't have corona. That. Yeah, as long as we don't have have sex in open wounds or anything like that. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's not... It's not that kind of show, and it's not it's something off, that I'm about to do. That's off the menu yeah, immediately. Off the table Okay, yes. that's fair. Uh, we can do it on the table. Okay, great. Gino, it's so good to see you in person. Look at you. Holy shit, I feel fucking... Have you gained one pound? Yes, I'm up to... I'm 122 pounds. Whoa! Now. Yeah. It was real. I had, uh, I've been doing the, you know, Stallone for Copland. <laughs> <laughs> that diet? Yeah, that modern reference. Uh, I go by his diet of microwaving. The Janine Garofalo film. <laughs> yes, of, please, of course. <laughs> the 90s when she could do anything until how, 9-11. How thrilling it was to see a friend in a Stallone film. <laughs> until <laughs> the credits. <laughs> That's it? <laughs> Um, I, you know, I put on a little bit of weight. I'm yeah. trying to bounce back. I've, it's a weird been, place I've, to put it, by the way. I've been through a ton. Yeah, I know. Right. It's, <laughs> I would have thought you drink it's microwave ice cream. the tailbone. And it goes all in your tail. Well, I think what you're seeing is my tail. Oh, wait, you have a tail. Well, is that like an appendage that you attached? No, 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 no. I, it was an appendage I removed, but. I couldn't get the nub off. Oh, so okay. I've like a little Boston you got Terrier. A one pound nub. Yeah, I got a one pound nub. Yeah, <laughs> and I got a one pound nub in the back and party in the front. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Another I one pound nub. Another one pound nub. Well, right. one inch nub, oh, okay. but also one pound. Oh, interesting. Like so a it's fucking like a tuna cube. can. Yeah, <laughs> I'm hung like a tuna can. All girth, super flat. It's like and a, goes bad after yeah. May. <laughs> it's like eleven silver dollars stacked up. <laughs> silver dollars. <laughs> fucking silver. Not the pancakes. I'm talking <laughs> currency, baby, and not currency. You're the that's the rapper. Ooh, have we talked a lot about uh, areola size preference? I, I don't believe we have. I don't believe I'd like to. Okay. Well, I I have opinion, so I'll start. Um, I like big ones, small ones. Can you lie about this or no? What? Can you lie about this or no? I wish I could lie about this. I'm too okay. fucking. But you like big ones, and you can't lie about that. I like big areolas, and I cannot lie. Right. I like little areolas, and I cannot lie. <laughs> I like medium-sized areolas, and I can lie. You can't down. lie about that. No, I'm not oh. lying about that. But I can lie, lie down, down and oh. think of fucking dinner plate nips. <laughs> oh, Jesus Ooh, yeah, with nipples you could dial it's a rotary plate. phone with. Remember rotary phones? I think anything bigger than a salad plate is probably too big. Well, because I'm thinking if the dinner plate is uh, if the areola is dinner plate size, how big is that titty? Oh, oh, could be gosh. potentially fucking huge. All right, look, bro. I apologize. Imagine, to all the listeners. oh my god, holy shit! I'm getting I, fucking, you know what? Shut a little bit shut of wood. Down, shut down the studio. I don't want to be back here anymore. Oh, I got to pour some waters in my lap. <laughs> I'm getting fucking t- right. torqued up. Gino, enough about uh, yeah, your enough penis about areolas. And, yeah, please, sorry. Uh, you, uh, <laughs> let me just check the luffs. The luffs look good. <laughs> uh, we're ready to roll whenever you we're want. Re- no, we haven't been rolling because we. You want to go back? I think that's okay. (laughs) Yeah, that's fine. You want to get Turtle Frog's fucking quote in again or whatever his name (laughs) is? Turtle Frog. (laughs) Um, 2021, we only got half of it left. We're we're in the throes of June. We're in the Ides of fucking June. That's right. We got to make something of our lives. Oh, f- fucking too late for me. Dude, 2020 is, it's in the rear view. We did nothing. We achieved nothing. But now we got to do something. I did a shit ton, which you can hear about this summer on season three of Gino <laughs> of Lombardo. Course. Promo code Gino is one month free. <laughs> but I understand where you're coming from, like a loser who doesn't have stuff hey. going on. And then the world shuts down. You're like, what am I supposed to, how am I supposed to talk to three quote unquote friends every week? <laughs> work Twice friends. a week? Work friends. Okay, no, I'm not saying <laughs> I'm an employee. I'm That's a 1099, right. as you always say to me. I said, Wait, you're I my been, boss. You go, you're 1099. I've Relax. been paying you? No. Okay. But good. I have to sign up for 1099 so that I can tax, you can take taxes out, uh, out of, of my Out of your non-existent. Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, I tax yeah. the college. You technically have nine credits to Nassau Community College oh. that you could do with whatever you want. Really? With. I could yeah. take a human sexuality class? Or? Well, no, those are 10 credits. Oh, shit. <laughs> of course. One they for every inch. cost 10 credits. <laughs> yeah, you get five inches twice. <laughs> oh. That's what I tell my, uh, that's what I tell my partners. I'm like, you want nine inches? 
too bad, but I can give you three inches three times. <laughs> okay, there you go. I come on the second pump, so really it's only six oh, inches. Oh, please, but I can do Gino. One, I can do one half chalked up fucking nub <laughs> pump at the end. My God, Gino. You know the Ewok song, Nub Pump? <laughs> yeah, of nub course pump. I, Oh, no. <laughs> It's about trying to fit a little tiny Ewok dick <laughs> okay. into a human stormtrooper pussy. <laughs> oh, gee. wait, they have? Okay. Some of them got it, right? Is it, they're in the armor? They, the pussies in the armor? I hope so. <laughs> Better not be on the outside. Wait, are, they That's, robot, are they robots? Under, are they still like uh, little Boba Fett's in there? I think they're all Django Fett's and some Jango Fett's. Oh, okay. Got yeah. it. Um, Gino, it's obviously June. Summer is here. Yeah. Pool weather. Love the fucking pool. I'm you're a, not wearing a shirt. You're you're stripped to the waist. I gotta be these days because yeah. the size extra smalls, uh, they're just too baggy. They're too loose. And they blow in the wind and I get a little fucking <laughs> sail. Situation. You're like one of those yeah. gas station blow up dolls. Oh yeah, one around. of the ones you take into the bathroom and fuck like uh, every hole of. No. <laughs> oh oh, like the wild yeah, the one, arm yeah. guys. Okay okay, because I, I have a gas station blow up doll that I keep in my really? car. <laughs> Wait, so it's just someone that works at a gas station? You got it's like in a, a gas sta- of? I got a sex doll that I put a gas station worker's uniform on. Use it to drive <laughs> in the HOV lane, hove, and then I'll also <laughs> use it to sit in the car while I go to uh, into the bathroom at the gas station. But I leave the gas station employee in the car to keep everyone guessing. Really ran out of steam on that one. <laughs> Me? <laughs> yeah, started so strong. And yeah, just like, sorry. Hey, that's like, cool, fun the, live the, comedy. The notes. levels just were like, <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Oh, sorry. It must be my back hurting from carrying the fucking show. <laughs> Do you have another question to ask me? <laughs> and then bitch about my answer? <laughs> well, welcome, welcome back. back to the fucking studio. <laughs> welcome back to Comedy Bay. Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it is that kind of show, bitches. <laughs> oh, I put on a pound, and it was a pound of extreme confidence. Everyone it truly is. Better I mean, look you, out. you are alphaing me. This is incredible. Oh, dude. yeah. It's such a weird turn of events for our dynamic. <laughs> it truly is. <laughs> for someone like you to get out, Alpha, that's crazy. It's insane. How could that ever happen? It's <laughs> like Bear Grylls getting did, lost. Did you take some sort of a confidence class or so? Like, yeah, I took a confidence class, but that was a con artistry class. Yeah, uh, and confidence. So, yeah, yeah, it was a confidence mm. game thing. Then I took a conf- a con class, which I thought was confidence, but it was, it was econ. Cons- it was econ. It was economy. Mm. Then I did a constitution one, which got me more health points. Oh, really? So I'm dying to get around <laughs> to fucking learning. But over the course of all those events, I realized I was capable of all different things, and then mm. all of a sudden. I got confidence. Oh, amazing. So, uh, like, how close are you to graduating? Because it is June. It's well, dad's and grad season. I got it. Is it happening this year? Are all your credits finally going to amount to this? It's more likely that I'm a dad this season than a grad. Because <laughs> I've been raw dogging left and right. Uh, and I know, like... At school? Or? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, at school, wherever they wherever they want, wherever the app mm-hmm. says to meet them, uh, wherever <laughs> my handler tells me to go, I just handler. fucking I just show up there and do my thing. Wherever Big Mike says to head, I head Big it. Mike? Yeah. Wait, Big Mike's handling you now? Big Mike has been handling what me since I was a child. You got? Oh, no. <laughs> is he one of your uncles? I can't remember. Uh, he is my smallest uncle. Oh, okay, yeah. 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 And those, uh, look, you have some small uncles. Yeah, I know. Called. Big Mike is the smallest. Little, yeah. little Mike is a fucking freak at 5'9 <laughs> right, as a giant. Yeah. yeah, it's confusing for everybody. It really is, but I mean, it's it's what what size they were when they were born, right? And, you know, some sprouted up around puberty and you yeah, just Yeah, you're really losing it. steam here, Scott. Yo, I'm sorry. Boy. That was fun. Welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, nice to have you. Anyway, so like, <laughs> it's, it's been great here. Uh, the dog food in the lobby is delicious. I don't know if that's for guests, but I haven't been in person in a long that time. That was for Tugboat, the earwolf dog. The who wrestler? Ha- who has not been here in 14 months. That's Holy been laying out there the entire time. Is he going to be pissed when he sh- or she is? Are they going to be pissed when they show up? I can't gender this dog. I'm just more worried about you. Oh, I'm fine. That's I- been sitting out. It's like raw meat that's been sitting out for the last. Oh, well, I had the plus. texture of dry dog food, so maybe I. No, no, that was fresh when it was. Oh yeah. fuck. Okay, well, oh. I can't tell because like I have permanent diarrhea, like the oh. Ben Stiller movie. <laughs> Wait, oh. where he plays like the guy who's addicted to heroin and keeps shitting his pants? Permanent diarrhea? <laughs> He's like a TV writer or something? He's on ALF? <laughs> That's terrible. So every single time you go to the restroom, you have diarrhea? This is bad. I haven't 
dried my ass without a hair dryer in a fucking decade. <laughs> just a hair dryer? Or I, using- I, I use I use one big wipe, but then mostly I'm just power blasting it off with. Uh, wow. And luckily, a lot of these uh, bathrooms have those hand dryers now, so I can turn. You it just outside. have to do a handstand. Yeah, I can do a handstand, or if there's like something on the ceiling that I can get on, and I can Spider Man myself in the corner. The Lionel Richie. Yeah, the, the old Lionel Richie. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so diarrhea full time, rooster tail every oh, time I sit Richie. on the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> diarrhea all the time. <laughs> <laughs> diarrhea ice watching you. That's what happens if I don't shit. I get a little diarrhea. You can see like jaundice in the back of my eyes. Oh my god! Is it this kind of show? I I think it's so. Fine. It's not we finally fucking, landed at where fucking, the, what kind of show it is? Diarrhea. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Because yeah. I don't have That's anything else spot. to talk about. <laughs> I'm tapped for topics. Huh. Unless you want to talk about January 6th, your vacation to the East Coast. <laughs> Oh, you know, I was, uh, you know, don't look at my records about that. My the Mr. Flights. Show reunion in Washington, D.C. <laughs> Went a little awry. Uh, well, Gino, it's great to have you back. Make sure that everyone has waters. We want to lubricate everybody. Oh, uh, I've pro- lubricated everybody, but I'll get the waters Okay, next. great. Okay. Fantastic. Well, we have to get to our first guest. And Gino, are you sticking around? I can never I'm going to stick around, but I'm going to be quiet because I'm going to let other guests shine because I'm just an intern. Okay, good. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Uh, I'll hold you to that, um, but uh, we have to get to our first guest, and he's someone who I've held dear uh, to, to my own heart. Uh, we were roommates for a while, and uh, during the pandemic, and this is, uh, this is, uh, I we watched that. a lot of movies together, and uh, to start crying. the entire uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles oeuvre oh. together, and uh, we had a falling out, and we uh, I moved out <laughs> and got my own place. Yeah. Oh, and, I forgot about that. <laughs> but you can still cry, but welcome back to the show. He is a producer over there at Whisper Studios. Please welcome back Sprague the Whisper. We're coming by right <laughs> back to the Earwolf Studios. Hey, Scott. I don't know what that was a parody of. <laughs> I have to say. I think Wild Wild West or something. <laughs> <laughs> but truly, I pulled the trigger on it very late, Scott. <laughs> yeah, well, also, you seem, to, you seem to like have forgotten it <laughs> after three words, <laughs> like, what you were wait, doing. I was like, I'm going straight. The uncertainty in your eyes. was hmm. It was terrifying. Yes, a lot easier on Zoom. I could have like notes in front of me. I could have like <laughs> the backing track, the, the count in three, two, two one. <laughs> <laughs> go with you have to share your screen though, so it would have been a whole thing. Screen. Yeah, it's better. And, and you know, way. I fucked that up a few times. Scott. Yeah, of course. <laughs> oh, history. Oh, we, I fucked up so many shared screens. <laughs> Welcome back. Did, do you know Gino? I don't know whether you've ever been on the show. We may have met before. on a show where there was maybe 40. To We've 30 crossed other a couple of times in real clusterfuck type situations. We really situation. have. Paths, we yeah. really have. And I do want to. I, I Gino, think you guys would be friends. We're going to. Uh, listen, Gino, in, in a minute, I'm going to have a proposal for you. So. Whoa. Whoa. Is it going to be indecent? Or? <laughs> we'll see. It Ooh. might be. It I hope it's be. a Ryan Reynolds, Sa- Sa- Sandra Bullock vehicle. Yeah, we'll we'll have to figure <laughs> it out. Scott, can I tell you something I'm pissed about? Oh, sure. Yeah. Is, this, is it a segment? It's a segment. <laughs> okay, great. Yeah. Spraggy's pissed, baby. <laughs> Spraggy's pissed, baby. Do we have right, a theme song the theme, for that? Roll, roll the theme, the theme music. song here, yeah. Spraggy's pissed, <laughs> baby. Wild, wild, wild west. <laughs> I used to live downtown. <laughs> What's good about being in Stewart is you could sing and, and you're not hearing a delay, you know? Yeah, like, that was really, that was really That was good. incredible. Well, <laughs> Spring is pissed. You know, Scott, me and Scott were working on the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles reboot, of course. Reboot, yeah, which turned out to not be a reboot. It was actually, we didn't have the rights to we it. We didn't and... have the rights, but we were doing something called Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, which <laughs> right. I think we could have got away with on the posters. I said, let's make them turtles. Let's just make them, you know, 20, 25. No, I want to misspell turtles. That's the way to get <laughs> right. the loophole. Okay, all right. So we were in... We were in uh, pre-production. We were working on our stunt coordination. Pre-pro. We were in pre-pro, of course. And Scott, I found something out that blew up the entire project. What happened here? Well, tell everyone. I know what happened, of course. I'll tell everyone. Did you guys know that it is illegal in the state of California to have nunchucks? I did not know that. I did not. But you know, they just legalized it in New York. Did they legal? So we could shoot this in New York? Turtles in the city. Turtles in the city. Wait, they were. Oh, we could put the Ninja Turtles in New York City. I like (laughs) you guys' idea. This is a good idea. Oh, they can eat pizza. You guys are on fucking fire. This is good. Manhole? Well, we're going to have to figure it out. Oh, wait a minute, Scott. I like where you're at. Maybe Mr. Big could show up? We might have. And he just shows up and he's just like, get in the the limo. This is the end of the show. We don't know if he's Mr. Big or if he's the dude from Law and Order. We're like, I think this is a great idea. But so for right now, the California production has been shut down. So I'm yeah, well, I mean, the surfing scene. Oh, yeah. 
It's not really a scene. It was more of like a set piece. It was a big you know, set piece. It was like piece. a big, giant 25 giant, set piece. Which was, is going to cost us $3 million just for this. Yeah, it was a crossover with Sharknado as well. It was a lot. Iron and gonna, Zeering and was the there. fact that we had Michelangelo sort of doing his nunchuck thing on the surfboard. Yeah. We have to cut the whole scene. Well, we also learned there is no eye in Iron Zeering. There's just an and Zeering. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you learned that. I don't know if that was something I learned, Scott. But here's the thing, Scott. So I'm here's not, the thing. I'm, okay. I'm not Wait, is this a segment? Here's the thing. <laughs> here's the thing with Spraggy, baby. Here's, here's the, the thing, thing, baby, with Spraggy, baby. <laughs> wild, wild west. I used to live downtown. <laughs> now, Good. now, I've, of course, because my Turtles project is down the drain, I've been... No pun, no, no pun intended. No pun intended. We made a lot of those jokes. No, that's, that's you know, what I we had to really Patreon. clamp down on them because no, we were laughing too hard. No pun intended on that. We that would laugh for like 15 minutes and then we would go like, what were we I, even talking I'll about? I'll declare this. Pun accidentally said. Thank you. <laughs> now, I have been watching, Scott, I've been watching a lot of Survivor. Reset. Okay, thank you. You said my name. Good. Scott. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. All right. Back in character. <laughs> Good. And now, I've been watching a lot of Survivor. Really? Old Survivor episodes? I've been watching a lot of Survivor, Scott, and, it, you know... You not the board. band Survivor. No, not, no, no. Not the... Uh, episodes of the television Eye of the show, Tiger. Survivor. Right. And that is what brings me to my proposal for Gino. <gasps> oh, this is unprecedented. This is exciting. You want me to no, get naked? And- no, 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 Gino. Okay. No, 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 no. Roll around and some money on a bed. We can talk about that later. We can talk about that later. Oh. That can be the indecent side of the proposal. But oh. right now, Gino, I want to propose an alliance between our two characters. <gasps> Oh, interesting. I don't have any characters. No, I no, I know what you mean. Our, 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 he our means your character. Who we oh, are, like, yes. The way yes, you are yeah. as a person. If, yeah. if, if I think if Sprague and Gino form an unlikely alliance here, we might be able to win the best ofs this year. Oh, Ooh. this is a, I this like is a good idea because usually it's every person for it's themselves. Every, but if, here's what we do: we just do other episodes and just totally throw them. Like we get the, we get there, we start on do, it. I already other, started. I already started yeah, yeah, this plan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've enacted it big time. <laughs> Any other episode you're on, you just throw the episode. You make it a little weird. You maybe say something that throws someone else's character off. You know, and then that way, when the voting comes up, it's me and Gino strong in the end. You know what I mean? Wait, or, but we oh, can just make a big campaign for this episode. No, we we got to do that as well. Oh, okay. But we've so also the ones had- you're on together, you yes. do really well on. But the and then you appear mm-hmm. on other people's episodes separately, and you tank. Them. Listen, uh, but what's to stop you from making this same deal with some of these other okay, fucking no, people? No, so listen to me, Gino. Know, Gino, Gino right now, Gino, listen. We got the numbers, okay? Right now, I've got Rudy North. Whoa! I've got I've got Mike Ruby, the no stake. <laughs> oh yeah, the no stake plumber. <laughs> I've he got was them in my back pocket. They're two goats. We're gonna take them to the finals. <laughs> me and you, Gino. But just then it'll just be the two of you in the end. It'll just be this. This isn't on your page. Patreon, is it, Sprague? No, no, oh, okay. Then I, yeah, I'm game. <laughs> I, say, I can maybe get a slice here. All right, I'm in. There's maybe a way. I don't know how. If we could make it a thing that appears on my Patreon. Oh, yeah. Wouldn't that be convenient? <laughs> that might be pretty good. <laughs> but I'm telling you, Gino, look. Gino, historically, your episodes don't get as many votes as they should because you split the vote. You're in so many episodes. Yes, you're in so many great episodes that people don't know what to vote so, for. Plus, everything you say kind of runs together. Right, and right, so right. Yeah, like, and a huge part of it is that I don't give a shit. <laughs> right. No, <laughs> well, I just, you're not going our but podcast listeners but see, who are arguably worse than TV That's extras. the thing, Gino. That's the best thing. No one will ever suspect it. Okay? Yeah. So if you're a dark you, horse, me and you make an alliance right Ooh, now. Oh, Palomino. Okay? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Me and you make an alliance. We just get those two Sully Sullenberger guys out of the fucking. Yeah, basketball. you got to get them out first because, because they're, they're the biggest yeah. threat right now. Okay. What do we'll you do think? That. Can I trust I, you, Gino? Are, is the voting open? No, no. no the no, it won't be open, open till November. No, no, no. Tr- if yeah. we can okay, get through, you got to lay the groundwork. So and this is just a five month heads up. Yes, the plan. But, but but what we've got to do today is we've got to vote one of these characters out of the episode at the end of the episode. Uh, oh, so, at, the, at the end of this episode, yeah, so we're voting plugs, someone out. At plugs, me and you, Gino, we just got to hold strong. Any of these other guys come in? These new characters. So this is the survivor part. This is the, <laughs> at the end of your fucking spiel. I get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So at the end of this episode, Gino, as long as we vote, and Scott, you're obviously playing all the sides. Well, I'm props. You're pro in this of situation, of course. As long as we stay strong, Greg we, Proops. We're great, <laughs> Greg Proops. Of course, he does. He, you know, but this is a gr- this is a good idea, right, Gino? This is a fucking wonderful idea. Sprague, it was. Yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> I, I'm super fucking pumped. The best ideas are the ones where you have to say, "This is a good idea," isn't it? <laughs> so At the very end. I'm really pumped about it. To really us. try to say, I'm it. not sure which one of the six parts is my favorite part of the idea, <laughs> but they all There's click connect parts. pretty smoothly. There's and a lot of parts. Hey, Scott, can I go, can we go get some water for a second? Uh, yeah, over. Here? Yeah, yeah, let sure. me talk to okay. you for a second. All right, yeah, you can you, you can hold down the fort, yeah, right, Gino? I, yeah. I usually right. get hey, the Scott, waters. Scott, mm. yes, yeah, I want to I want to blindside Gino. 
Yeah, I yeah, know. Because yeah. he's strong. He's too he's strong. He's too strong. We'll he's, never beat him in the end. Did you hear that that fun zinger about your name Sprague or whatever? Like that's yeah, too good. Yeah, he's too good. He's too funny. <laughs> he's too good and you're not you're not I'm never going to be that funny. You're in not doing end, that well on this episode in particular. I, I so it's like, like <laughs> hey, I don't know what you guys are saying over there, but I agree wholeheartedly. <laughs> cool Gino. <laughs> cool Gino. Good to hear from good you. Good shit. So I think okay, so as long yeah, as what we do we do? strong at the end. So I'm going to make an alliance with all these new characters at the end. Okay. We vote out Gino. We vote out Gino and he'll never see it coming. Okay, this is great. Hashtag blindside. Hashtag blindside. Okay. All right. Oh, this episode. Oh, so what should we hey, talk Gino. about? What yeah, should what we talk should we about? talk about? Um, um, I was recently Gino. adopted by Sandra Bullock, and I'm going to play offensive line for a high school football team. Oh, okay. That's very a, cool. That's very an cool. incredible Gino, story. Gino, come here. <laughs> that's talk to you over here? Story. Yeah, sure. Okay. Oh, yeah. hey, Sprague. Uh, yeah. I got to help him get the waters for Oh, everybody. yeah. No, yeah, he does right. get waters. We're going to take a swim probably in this water. All right. Tight, tight. Like, I'll just keep hosting the show. So anyways, call me back. Gino. You're going to be blindsided. What? You're going to be blindsided Again? at the end of the show. I was already blindsided when Sandra Bullock adopted me and forced me to play high school football. That's what was so ironic about it. Oh, my God. I can't get blindsided again. No. I'm yeah. out of sides after this. we got to get everyone else on this show <laughs> together so that we can vote out Sprague at the end. Okay, yeah. That's, I Now that I understand that the premise of Comedy <laughs> Bang Bang is that it's a survivor kind of thing. No, you understand it's a one-to-one. -one. Yeah, I, got, I totally understand it now. Yeah. I got it. There's millions Every of episodes. Detail. Some people yeah. like all of them, and some people are like, yeah, I think my friend watches that. Yeah, yeah, every yeah. detail refers back to Survivor. Yes, <laughs> yes you got, got it. it. Yeah. I figured it out completely. Well, okay. I'm happy to be part of the Lizard Clan or whatever, and let's do it. Yeah, okay, great. Hey, Spray! It's been... Oh, well, sorry. Oh, okay, I was yeah. just doing comedy bang bang on my. You were own. doing all of it. You were yeah, reading you're the dry on erase board. Yeah, I was reading a lot of the bits. It says it's been one week. Okay, then I just did okay, that. Got it. All well, right, so uh, this is fun. yeah. So this is good. This stuff. is great. Yeah. I'm feeling really good. I'm feeling like I can trust you guys. Scott, oh, of course you can Scott, trust. Can I talk to you for a minute? Oh my God, who's <laughs> this? Scott, I, I'm sorry, I don't mean to interrupt. John, um, holy wait, is shit! This John it's Yoko's Lennon? husband, I, John Lennon. No, I, this is not about me. I just I I left behind a DVD before the pandemic. Oh wait, which one? <laughs> the the Blindside DVD. Oh, I've had the worst <laughs> pandemic. I haven't been able to watch my wait favorite minute. movie. I actually have. It's not a DVD. It's a Blu-ray. It's not yours. I'm assuming, but it's the Steelbook of Blindside. If you want that, it's a Blu-ray. It's a Blu-ray. Yeah, I don't have the equipment for that. <laughs> I have a DVD. <laughs> I'm looking for a DVD. Lennon, okay, you don't fucked. have a Blu-ray player. <laughs> I do not. No, uh, you know, a rig. So, seems like you. I don't need to get into all this. John stuff. Lennon, I, a guy, <laughs> could get a Blu-ray player. Really, I'm sure I could, but I like the quality of a DVD. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, you don't have. Do you have an HD TV? Is that uh, an HD? Yeah. Not HG TV. I, I, okay. Now. It, Yes, I do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. You do have an HGTV? I do have an HGTV. <laughs> okay. It's just got a lot of dirt on it. I don't know what this it. means. <laughs> okay. It's yeah. a TV. It's a, it's a digital TV. It's a TV, TV with, with plants on it? Okay. Well, yeah, and um, so you don't have my DVD. I don't have it. Okay. I'm sorry, but come here for a second. Come here. All right, hold on. Let me crawl under here. <laughs> Look, let's go don't don't crawl on. No, I didn't you mean You brought me. this little weird dog tunnel thing. <laughs> Why you got to put it down and crawl through it? Are you doing agility classes <laughs> after this? <laughs> it's you know, I'm I'm getting on an age and it's keeping me spry. <laughs> okay, I understand. <laughs> Come here for a second. Come Spry? A second. Oh, Sprague. <laughs> yeah, yeah, different, yeah. different guy. Yeah, yeah. Different guy. Come here for a second. Can I tell you? Hey, uh, we need to vote out uh, these two assholes. <laughs> We're now, on the other show. I, yes. I, from what I overheard, it was at the end of the episode. <laughs> <laughs> They're too powerful. We can't wait till the end these of the episode. Two? And you overheard this? I thought we were being so quiet. No, I was behind that big steel door. That I, don't, I think you got ripped off. <laughs> oh, no. In fact, some of the other oh, studios here... Oh, shit, this is here, just aluminum foil. What was I doing? Some of the other studios are complaining that you're bleeding into that. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, are you in? Do we have an alliance? I'm in, but me? I'm not going to be here for long. I need to, <laughs> yeah, I I know you to, to get my off. DVD at a lunch I left before the pandemic. Okay, but you can come back at the end. Was the it in a bowl sure. by the door? Uh, yes. It's gone. I ate that oh, right when did, I that, did, that, did that damn four legged intern eat it? <laughs> uh, no, the three legged intern, me. Just <laughs> kidding, I only have two. His nub. My little nub. Right. If I lay down, uh, we don't have to get into it. Okay? <laughs> yeah, we, uh, Let's not. Uh, you know, I'm going to sneak out of here and go wait. All right, John. Uh, we'll, we'll see you at the end of the show. She uh, loves you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Don't <laughs> and get me started with you that. You are all asleep. <laughs> You've all fallen asleep. You've entered the realm of the Dream Lord. Oh, my God. Welcome, all of you. John Lennon, Hello. thin man with the big shirt. Uh, Dr. Gino Lombardo, you can call that, him. That could be John Lennon as well. You really should specify. 
uh, movie producer and host. I won't be long. I'm so sorry to have you guys fall asleep. I just, uh, I just. What what made us fall asleep? By the way, I made you fall asleep. I uh, needed to communicate. Oh, okay. It wasn't John Lennon's I, I story or anything like that. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just. Hey, um, Dream Lord, can I talk to you for a second over here? Uh, well, okay, yes. <laughs> sure. I am the master go. of this dream. Uh, I'm gonna go play with these flying caterpillars. Uh, like, yeah. Of course. Well, yeah. I'm gonna titty fuck Katy Perry <laughs> again. <laughs> yes. Hey, Dream Lord. Dream yes, Lord. Yes, yes. Hey, you're a good guy. You know, I can. I think I can trust you. You know, there's something about you that's very trustworthy. Oh, I you appreciate know? that. Thank you. You know, you're sort of a lord and I'm also a sprig. Yeah. Sprig, right? Yeah, right? That, those are sort of similar. <laughs> Listen, we've got a, we've got a, me and you've got a blind, we're going to split the vote and we're going to blindside Lenin. We've got to get this guy out of here. He's too, he's too good. He's too fun loving, you okay, know? Dude, and without any context, dude, dude. I'm going to say I understand and I'm in. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> great. I'll, I'll let you guys wake up now. I'll see you later. Woo! Oh, oh wow, shit. that that was incredible. Stuff. Oh, my oh, gosh. Wow, I feel John, so rested. Wow. John, someone's here wants you to sign their copy of Catcher in the Rye <laughs> on your way out. Oh, I've been through this before. <laughs> <laughs> ha ha, Gino. Very good. Yes, yes, I was shot in the body by someone who wanted me to do that very same thing. Your body, by the way. My <laughs> body, right in it. Yeah, I just feel like that's a rude thing to say, Gino. You know, I would that's not the type of person I would trust. You know what I mean? Speaking of rude, Gino, did you did you put on weight? Yeah, I gained a pound. <laughs> you look big. Oh, thank you. Look you look bigger. Yeah, I feel fucking amazing. You it's look the nu- one little bit bigger. Yeah, it's the little tail. It's giving me a ton of confidence. I have a nub in the front and the back now. I can roll over safely We covered this, John. Pressing my mom's But, John, you can't come late and just we rehash conversation. You know what? Spray, yeah. can I talk to you yeah, for a second? Come late. Let me talk to you over here. We got to get Lennon out. We got to vote out Lennon. He's too strong. He loves circular to re- glasses. He loves to rehash. And that just takes up so much time in the episode. By the end, you're like, this is oh a John Lennon episode. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, forget it. No, no. We all need to shine on this episode. All right. So, Cook, don't worry. All right. all. Shine. That gives me a good idea for a song to listen to later. Oh, and you're all asleep. Listen, you're all asleep real quick. I'm so sorry. Oh, so sorry. Oh. It's me, Morpheus, to dream what I'm oh, sorry. Hey, you're Morpheus. All asleep. Hey. People are dreaming about this episode that you are recording now. And from what I'm gathering from people's dreams, you're recapping a lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. Just some know. notes. I know it's not so. This is to the most notes. specific dream anyone has ever had. I mean, usually you don't understand any usually, of the yeah, details. Usually, dreaming about very common movies <laughs> from your perspective. So there's a lot of recap them. in this one. <laughs> These are extremely literal dream transcripts <laughs> yeah. of the current podcast. But that not you enough are recap for new listeners in the last three months who have no idea why John Lennon is here. I feel like you're probably leaving a lot of people out, but. <laughs> Uh, from <laughs> or who Sprague is. <laughs> Gino's self-explanatory. Obviously. Dr. Gino Lombardo reporting for duty. <laughs> You're all awake. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, God. Oh, wow. So anyway, I was saying you, you do look like you're sitting a little higher. Oh, my I, God. We're asleep again. <laughs> oh, no, no. No, I'm just bored. Okay. <laughs> we were falling asleep. Oh, wait. Well, oh. everything's back to normal. You know, we could just do a normal episode. Just of do a normal bang, episode. Bang. We have so much show to Everyone's, go. Everyone's, you yeah. know, no, no, shifting my eyes left and right. No, no. Let's if a, you want to play. Plug Reno 911 on Quibi. You can go for it. <laughs> if you want yeah. to. You know, you can <laughs> oh, oh, John, I know you need to go. You're but... mistaking me. I, I've got to get out of here. You're mistaking me with somebody. I'm not going to tell you who you're mistaking me Fuck. with. Fuck. It must be Paul McCartney. And, and I'm out of here. <laughs> Zoom. What? Yeah. Whoa. He can fly now. <laughs> left, I left. can fly, and I was telling you where I'm going. Oh, next. he's above us. <laughs> to the zoo. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Wow. Well, look. Yo, we... I'm keeping this agility tunnel. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. This gonna be Why do you leave that behind? Oh, my God. Yeah, fill it up with all fly again. extra KY warming liquid I have. Well, look, we have to take a break. We certainly shouldn't be paranoid during the rest of the no, show. No, no, We're we all just, comfortable. We're, we're all friends fun. here. These are yeah. just interesting people. You know, we just of course. Have we have so many more interesting people to get to. We have a salesperson. We have a film reviewer. Oh, my God. We're back in the studio. Oh, from the dream lord to a salesperson? <laughs> Holy shit. I'm really running the gamut. <laughs> Speaking of the agility, but uh, we have to go to a break. When we come back, we're going to have more Sprague, more Gino, more Comedy Bang Bang after this. <laughs> <laughs> Comedy Bang Bang, we're back. Uh, Sprague the Whisperer and Gino Lombardo. And what was going on during the break? Cut what were you guys and. talking about? Oh, cut where? We, I was just uh, stop the ad, roll oh, okay. the podcast yeah. episode. Now I'm just making notes for myself oh, okay. for, yeah, for yeah. post process. Okay. <laughs> no, well, me and Gino, we were just in the corner. We were just sort of digging through the ground. That's we, weren't, you? we weren't looking in for, the corner. That's us in the corner. We weren't well, here's looking a, for anything in here's particular. Here's the thing. You saved my ass because I had never seen Survivor and I went along with it hard yeah, yeah, for a while. You did. But then you showed me. 
four full episodes. Yeah. It was quite a break. You yeah, were, and I'm hooked now. Now you're hooked. I can't. <laughs> That's <laughs> what happened to me. I got to the Netflix season, you know? You get shit to hooks you. Mm-hmm. So we were, we weren't looking for the immunity idol. Which season were you watching? <laughs> season one? We're like, what's in the hatch? No, we started, hatch? we started with Kagayan. <laughs> Richard Hatch. <you know? laughs> What's in here? Well, we know. He shows yeah, us all. That later. <laughs> he shows us what's in the hatch. He did a porno, right? <laughs> Ooh. It's yeah, what's in the hatch? Down no, you know, we're just having fun. We're, you know, I can't wait to talk to these new people. Like, this okay, is going to be fun. Oh, this is going to be so fun. Yeah, so you guys were cool. You weren't we were totally about, yeah, cool. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, good, Everything good, good is cool. Copacetic. Right. Very good. <laughs> Smooth. <laughs> okay. You're acting <laughs> weird, Gino. Uh, no, nothing. Nope. You're not no. acting weird? I'm not acting weird. I'm not acting at all. You're not acting. This is raw. This is just you. This is who I am. Okay, this is Gino Lombardo Raw. I think I'm calling my comedy special. That's, that's not really? a bad idea, Gino. I like Maybe it. you should call it Triggered. I don't know. This <laughs> seems a little more current. I don't know. I hadn't even thought of that because that could really activate my Patreon. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, we do need to get to our next guest. He is the aforementioned salesperson. We're going to find out what he sells. Please welcome to the show for the first time, Andy Manders. Hey, Scott. Thanks so much for having me. Gosh, hey, so I'm great so to meet excited. you. Andy Manders. Andy Manders, yes. This is chair Sprague. salesman. Oh, Sprague. This is, nice to meet you. Oh, Sprague. you wanted to say chair salesman Doesn't before matter. I <laughs> introduce you to... Yeah, that's okay. You're a chair... So you sell chairs. I sell chairs. I'm Gino that's Lombardo. Gino, this nice is Gino, you. though. So you I'm, sell chairs. Seems like you wanted to quickly get out your thing. Just real quick. Uh, uh, I think this is a smart anyone, idea. Before anyone could disrupt it or... <laughs> that, that, I don't know why I would worry about that. I've never met any of you before. Just I just traditionally, when I'm meeting with people, I try to get my thing out pretty fast. It's well, just sure, smart. It's how we would remember you. In 2021, it's smart. <laughs> just yeah. people's conversations are really accelerating, I find, in society. And if you don't get your thing out fast, it gets taken away from you. So of just course. Where'd you grow up? <laughs> oh, oh, I grew up in... <laughs> oh, please misspeak. Uh, please misspeak. Uh, Ohio. Ohio. <laughs> Ohio. Northern Ohio. Ohio, right outside of Cleveland. Ooh, I love oh, it. right outside, yeah. really? Yeah. Parma, Ohio. Why yeah. not just in Cleveland? <laughs> well, it's funny when you're born, you don't pick. So I guess I should. I guess, Holy but you know shit. what I mean. That's I a good t-shirt. Your parents pick. I like, feel like that's a good T-shirt. When you're, when you're born, born, you, you don't, don't pick. pick. Yeah, and then it's a baby picking their nose. Yeah. This is a T-shirt. This is good. You're All like right. Lady Gaga. You were born that way in Northern Ohio. <laughs> yeah, just outside of Cleveland. I was born that way uh, in an right. uninteresting. You ever town. go to that uh, baseball museum? Yes, I have. The uh, one the, in New York? The one in Cooperstown, yeah, New York? That's, yeah. <laughs> why? Uh, <laughs> yes, why did I Everyone's go there? Everyone's looking at like he's out of his mind. Why a fair question. I went somewhere and defended. I am a fan of baseball unrelated to anything really? we've brought up. Like how big of a fan? Like I'd say medium season plus, tickets or medium plus. Medium plus. I What's go, up with the chairs? <laughs> yeah, we actually want to know about the chairs this time. <laughs> Enough with this baseball bullshit. Tell us about your chairs, bro. You're you on a must have podcast. had a lot to say about the chairs. I feel compelled to said. finish the sentence on baseball. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've no, been, I'd like I go to, to I go to a, I go to see. A, you ever catch one of the like home runs or anything like? Yes, that? Yes, I have. I caught one of one of those home runs, but at a minor league game, oh. so it was soft. Oh, it was, it was a soft lofted ball. up high by drug a weak free. player, yeah. single A. Yeah, yeah, okay. probably drug free. That's probably what it was. Some right. non steroid. Still, that's got to feel good though. I mean, so satisfying. Oh, yeah, man. I was in the bleachers by myself. The uh, home run gets hit. By yourself? No no other I fans was in the stands? I went just to get my mind off things. I sat there <laughs> in the bleachers. This single A guy comes up. This guy looks like he's not even going to be in single A for more than like oh, half an inning. Yeah. Hits it right on the screws. Oh, you can see God. his face light up. And it sails up into the bleachers. I'm there by myself reading a book. <laughs> Happened to look up. Which book? Wait, it. which book were you reading? Heidi. Heidi, yes. Oh, yes. about the <laughs> yeah, the, the uh, Swiss girl, Swiss girl uh, yeah. Shirley Temple. So you went to a baseball game isn't, to read a book. Mm-hmm. Isn't that ironic? He was because depressed. D- Shit happens. I was man. depressed. I've been I was just trying to get out of my head. Just it manifests in different ways life. in different people. Gino, so I totally thank you. understand. That's so yeah. empathetic of you. My therapist says that's why I'm so depressed. You go Who's to your therapy? therapist. Uh, well, he's not my therapist, but he's a therapist that I can hear because he oh, works from home upstairs. Oh, so you okay, listen to yeah. somebody else's therapy? I listen to somebody session. else's therapy. And Do your problems apply to their n- no, advice? No, no one has the same problems as me. So <laughs> weird. I relate to this because I read other people's horoscopes and I take that advice. I like that. Yeah, I like this. Aries get good ones. Maybe, you yeah, were, maybe your parents didn't tell you when you were born. Exactly. You know, maybe uh, you're like a month off or something like that. That's true. Maybe I was lied to. You yeah, know, maybe, maybe you were kid. switched at birth or something like that. Born and that's why you like chairs. Because downtown Cleveland, one month earlier than you thought. No, fuck Parma. Yeah. yeah Who knows Parma. what's a lie? Yeah. Yeah. I think kind of, I think lying is sort of the worst thing you could do. 
No, thank you. Spray. Why are your <laughs> eyes shifting back and well, forth? I just wanted to say that. I don't know why. Weird. Look, when when did you get a cape? No, you're holding it up. Over I've the always had a cape. He's always had a cape. Design. He's a cape guy. I've always had a cape. Okay. Yeah. It's it, it's interesting. It's ironic because the movie Heidi interrupted that football game back uh, during yes. the seventies, and, then in and the you're reading game, Heidi. I'm interrupting it with yeah, Heidi. Yeah. With a fly ball that you end up catching. Yeah. The game interrupted Heidi. A real dinger. Did he get called up to the show or what? Uh, he never made it. He never made oh, it to the to the big it. leagues. That's, I the think guy, that, that's the guy who killed himself from the Northern Ohio Water Dogs. Yes, the guy who oh, the Northern yeah. Ohio Water Dogs. I guess that was the high point of his life, and then he. I had read something about how the the guy who caught the ball wouldn't throw it back to him. Yeah, it was yes. a as a memento. Situation. I'm right here. He came out. To, he came out. He, he oh, caught, that's you. Oh, yes. Okay. I was I'm the only one of the two bleachers and two as stated. He came up to me right after the game. It's very nice. And he's like, "Hey, I've never done that before. It's kind of big." My kid was watching. <laughs> Would you mind if uh, I had the ball? I said, "No way." Way. This is the only good thing that's happened to me in a while. And, and by, what, fan, was, what was going on with you? It's fan protocol. When you catch the ball, sure. you can keep it. Unless I, it's the uh, opposing team. Yeah, and you throw it back. But that's right. Was he prerogative. on the opposing team? He was on the opposing <laughs> okay. team. He was so, like, just throw it back. So everyone was pissed. Execute of. your fan given right, right to throw it back. What was going on with you that nothing had uh, good had happened to you? I just lost a ton of money at a carnival. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, no, one day? Yes. <laughs> yes. So, yes. I thought you were about to circle back to your business. Wait, this, this isn't about a carnival? <laughs> this doesn't have anything to do with that carny worker in northern Ohio who killed himself. <laughs> yes. What Earlier the that what? day, I had gone to a carnival, <laughs> bet on the fair wheel which you normally Why? cannot do. they don't let you do that they don't anymore. let you do it but I sweet talked to him I was like I got what, did, what was about the bet which one would come in first oh uh, yeah you're gonna it's get a fucking circle. hammered this is so, that way bro. it's a bad idea yeah so I but I said I feel like I got a good feeling about blue five and so I put a ton of money down on blue five oh. Uh, oh. All these side bets started forming. <laughs> and this, that was what were great. the side bets like? <laughs> I, is this guy insane? I've seen this yeah, happen. Is he going like, to get committed? Right? Problem. Will, will someone commit suicide? Will they force him to pay if, when this bet doesn't work? Because it's will they feel so right. bad they let him go? Will anybody get hungry and order a cotton candy during the wait? Did that uh, did that pay off ten to one? Everything hit except for my bet. <laughs> oh my I was God. mentally ill. Someone did order cotton you were. candy. Not anymore. Though. Yeah, they were not so sad that they wouldn't make me pay. <laughs> <laughs> Lost everything. Whoa, I was completely depressed. God. Pickpocketed a book of Heidi from a passing librarian. Because <laughs> I was like, I had nothing. Sure, so, so you wanted at least the book. That just, makes sense. I just need to pass time. Because when you said Heidi earlier, I'm like, you don't seem like a guy would pick Heidi as it's a not book. not my pick. Right, but if it's... But I was like, this maybe is port- punishment. Can I, ask I deserve it. How'd you know it was a passing librarian? <laughs> I should have put it in her pocket, dude. Book. <laughs> if she has books in her pocket, <laughs> bitch is a librarian, baby. Yeah, that's no, funny. I knew because I asked you. her. I got her. books in your pocket. <laughs> you might be a librarian. Oh, I've that's heard you before. That's yeah, that's me. Stuff. Yeah, that's yeah. your stuff. You, you do all the librarian the jokes. <laughs> yeah, I took the white collar comedy tour. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> it made no money, right? Yeah, it made zero yeah we all dollars. had good money going into it, so it didn't hit as hard. But it was nice. So, in what situation would you ask her that she was a librarian? I pickpocketed. I felt bad. I went back. Said I stole this. She should have back. She says, "Thank God, I'm a librarian. I need this to finish the library." But, uh, how did you get the book then? Because she said, "You look." I said, "Well, I." I'm feeling really bad. I just lost all my money on that Ferris wheel. She's like, I know I did one of the Wait, side I bets. read this story about a librarian who killed herself. <laughs> she killed herself. <laughs> yeah, I'm still like, trying to find out how the Connie guy killed himself. Now I'm starting guy, to think, well, if this is the Northern Ohio, what this was. Uh, this is all Northern Ohio. Yeah, so this is. Was June, this the librarian Carney double s- murder 2019, suicide? right? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. What this, did you just say? Uh, June 21st, 2019. That's right. Yeah, because that's when there was like 11 suicides in Northern Ohio and no one yes. knew what All within them. like the same weekend. Nobody could have connected. Them, but we're doing it now. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't really feel guilty about it because it wasn't like I told any of these people to kill themselves. I just sort of had a, a rough day. I guess mm, not as bad as mm. theirs. So <laughs> where, where was I? Yeah. So I the mean, Carney end, guy. The, their days ended okay because they're at peace now. <laughs> I guess in a way. Yeah, yeah, your, yeah. your torment continues. That's I think we have to still, put a warning um, on this episode. <laughs> yeah. I'm still attached to the Wheel of Desire. They are free of that. <laughs> That's true. Oh, true. I like that. Wheel, Wheel, of, de- Desire. Wheel of Desire. I, ha- I downloaded that movie on fucking LimeWire. <laughs> <laughs> and I was in a tribute band called Wheel of Desire. 
<laughs> a tribute to the movie or a tribute yeah. to another no. band? <laughs> it was uh, just a regular band that played originals, but we existed in tribute to the movie Wheels of Desire. We'd say our just saw musical <laughs> existence is in tribute to that film. To the 1979 now, pornographic film. Yep. And, and now here is an original. Uh, about no lyrical my dog. references to yep. it. No references to it. It's all originals. This wait, guy, but wait, we're th- you had three band members, right? I did. They before. all committed suicide <laughs> during that yeah. weekend. Well, we had a gig that night, and I canceled because I was like, I can't do it. I just lost all my money. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go work this off by watching a minor league baseball game. Oh. Okay. Meanwhile, the carnival guy felt so bad that he had fleeced me. His wife made him feel guilty. Apparently, he committed suicide wow. later. That oh day, my which god! Is wow, wow. Oof. incredible. Oof. So I canceled the gig. The Wheels of Desire guys were like, we got this. We had this big gig. We we're gonna play the opening of Higby's at the Parmatown Mall. Oh, that's big there. Very. What I read. Yeah. Oh, Higby's shit. in Northern Ohio. Ohio. Higby's like they, was open. This, this is not the Higby's that where the <laughs> regional manager killed himself in the mall. <laughs> nope. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> You're right. That was Florida. This this is that was Tampa. One. That was the Tampa Higby's. I remember that now. Yeah, this is <laughs> just the Northern this Ohio guy. Higby's. We had a huge gig. We were gonna we were gonna headline this opening concert, and um, and I and I said it I was can't. an opening concert. You it were you were headlining. <laughs> We were headlining. The you were not opening a headline concert. <laughs> no, you, were you were headlining, headlining an, an opening, opening concert. concert. The concert was the beginning of a series of festivities. <laughs> I this will be headlining of concert. that opening phase. This, so it's there's a, a co-headlining <laughs> concert. A concert you know, kicks no off the opening of Higby's, <laughs> and then there's more events after yes. the concert. <laughs> after the musical portion of which we were the headline. There Wait, was a what other portion race. would there be? Oh, if there, oh okay. Uh, then there was a finger painting contest. Oh, Ooh. this sounds like a fun day. Oh, it's great. Then, or, uh, or is this in the middle of the night? <laughs> uh, this would have been starting at 8 p.m. So yeah, I guess <laughs> okay, that would have been. Yeah. I guess that would have like been like 3 a.m. three-legged race. Yeah, you know, just like have the. Yeah. of the town have some fun. Right, Shouldn't all just yeah. be like Eternals parents and kids coming this out this guy's November. pretty interesting. This guy is haven't pretty... even gotten to the chair thing I, yet. Look, I gotta be honest. I don't know how interested I am in the chairs thing. Well, they have, some, have, some of them have fucking wheels. Some of them are padded. <laughs> some don't. Yeah, I mean, sure. That's fucking wild to well, me. Well, I sell them, I and if so. you want any chairs, I'm available. I'm, I came here looking to drum up sales. <laughs> You're trying That's a to smart s- move. Not a lot of people do that. <laughs> no, they got a huge platform and they never promote their <laughs> business. No entrepreneurs. They always promote no some <laughs> random podcast that has 800 listeners that yeah. they know of. Chairs, they always have a seat on them, don't they? Great point. Most uh, <laughs> amateurs don't appreciate that. They don't always have backs, but they always have seats. They got to, or they're not a chair. Right. What are they instead? Is a they're stool just like, a chair? Uh, a stool is a chair because it has a seat. Oh, I love a it. A stool is a subset of chair. Okay, oh, interesting. I like yeah. this. Uh, Do they all have legs? Or they don't just... have to have legs. If really? A so a chair could just be on the floor with no legs. That's a chair. That's a chair. Yep. That's incredible. Wow. All you need is a bean bag. Bean bag is a chair. It's called a bean bag chair. You're right. Yeah, it doesn't have a leg, but it has a seat. But it has yeah, a seat. Exactly. As long as it has a seat, it is a if subset you of the turn chair. Turn a genius. chair upside down. Is it still a chair? No. Now it's four chairs because the seat is gone. <laughs> it's got How, four seats. What about yes. what about four seats for you? <laughs> yes. Oh, I know you now. I remember you. Yes, you've you've. Uh, I was. I did the you, seventh inning stretch performance at the Northern Ohio Water Dogs. Yes, did. Twenty first, twenty ninth. Took a chair out in the on the field, turned it upside down, I, sat on all four. I'm, I was like, I'm going to make each leg disappear. People said, There's no way. You could do it all at once. And I practiced. Said, I warmed up, starting with little pizza tables, getting them up my asshole, good and then you. I was able to do it with a. Was this something that the team hired you to do, or? Well, <laughs> the guy who was supposed to do the performance had killed himself. Oh <laughs> no! You were a last minute. Yeah, I was a last they minute. They came out on the field said, "Can the anybody do husband? any entertainment for the seventh <laughs> inning stretch?" I was alone on the first baseline. I saw uh, you. Yeah, we yeah. locked eyes a couple times, and I was like, "Should we talk?" I was like, "That." I was. I thought disaster. you were a fucking sniper or something. I was just trying not to <laughs> make eye contact. You. You had a real vibe. You had a ghillie suit on. It's strange. Yeah, I right? had a weird camouflage ghillie suit in the bleachers of a minor league stadium, but that was just so that I could feel lost. Yeah, no. And I wanted to, to feel like I was disappearing. I mean, I was the one in full football equipment, so I can't really talk shit about you. I assumed mm. you were just killing time until you went to another game. Well, that's what I was going to the uh, football hall of fame, which is in Canton, Ohio. Yeah, Have you ever been close. to the baseball hall of fame? Oh, sure. Cooperstown, New York. Yeah, yeah I, I love, love it there. <laughs> yeah. What size of fan are you? How intense? Uh, low what size? Uh, well, I'm a medium uh, in fans. And and extra, I, extra small in shirt. Uh, extra XXS in short. Excess. <laughs> Hey, in you, excess. In you excess. Guys yes. High end excess. Do you guys mind if I just go talk to the camera crew over here for a second? Oh, yeah. No problem. Yeah, oh, sure. Yeah, yeah, whatever hey, you need just, to do. Just, yeah. I'm just noticing the camera crew. There's a camera crew. So, hey, so, uh, so, so, Heidi, how does it end? <laughs> so, listen to me. <laughs> yeah. That's your question? Yeah. I'll be honest. I didn't finish it because the game interrupted. 
The, oh, the game interrupted it. Yeah. How far did you get? Uh, page two. Oh, okay. I love so, that movie, Game Interrupted. I'll never tell. <laughs> so her name is Heidi. You got to that. I got to her name is Heidi. She's from Switzerland. She lives in a mountain. That's about as far as I in got. In a mountain. Sounds hot. In a mountain. Yeah, like a lair. It could be. It wasn't described that way, and I think it wasn't. <laughs> but I suppose you could interpret it as a lair. What, what is a lair? So a place that you live in that has evil intentions? I feel like it's got to be underground, right? It, I don't think you could have an open air lair. It's is it a, against union regulations that Sprague's changing all these lights on the yeah, ladder? What is, he doing? what is going what? on back here? No, nothing. I'm not doing anything. <laughs> you guys have fun. What is a lair? You know, I had a cave. That's Ooh, kind of like a lair. Yeah, you know? yeah. What is, is a, a cave a lair? You guys keep doing that. Yeah. Huh. I think you can make anything a lair, really. It's about the vibe you put out there. Yeah, yeah. Heidi had kind of a, an optimistic vibe. She was a sunny protagonist, from what I gathered. What in the happened two to pages? her, though? Like, I mean, we, we have no idea. What I mean, what went down there? Right here, let me look at the last page. <laughs> okay, yeah, just read the last page Because I kept this book because it was such okay, a good. meaningful day in my life. Just read the last page. It looks to be about three quarters of a page before about it ends. About three quarters of a page. Okay, yeah. it says, and so Heidi, finally in love. Oh, really? So her- it's it starts with the beginning of a sentence. Pages <laughs> usually don't do that. It usually yeah, like luck. the, the, it the, the back half of a previous sentence. It happens sometimes. So <laughs> Heidi, finally in love, turned to her father and said, see, I told you. <laughs> I've only seen the movie, and that's how the movie ends. I Accurate. could do it. I can fall in love, too. And with that, she sailed into the sky and became God? Oh, they, they cut that wow. out of the movie, which wait, makes wait, sense. That's, wait, are you doing the last page of Heidi? Can you do it again? Okay, I think so. Uh, so, <laughs> finally, wait. And so, finally, just Heidi read it. fell read in it. love. Just yeah, I don't, know, I don't know why I'm trying to remember it. That's insane. I just, just read it again. Just just it. Listen, it's right here. I know we're like on camera because Rudy's got 11 Rudy. Pros, so Rudy. Rudy. Yeah, Sprague. It's Sprague. Sprague, whatever. <laughs> Fuck, I can't remember any. Does Rudy have a cape? <laughs> oh, that's right. Cape Sprague. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, where was I? Oh, yeah, reading, so I don't have to remember. Yeah. So, Heidi, finally in love. You were you were remembering it the first time. Well, and now you should just read it. To try to get better yeah, at yeah, short-term yeah. Now just memory. read it. It's not yeah. a bad idea. But that's why my show. Have you heard not. of the Memory Palace? Uh, yes, I have. The strip club? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, okay. Is that in Ohio? Gino, aren't you, you banned from Ohio? Gino, aren't you banned from, the, aren't you banned you know, from there? I, I'm, a banned from, I'm banned from all Ohio strip clubs. <laughs> <laughs> to be te- to, uh, technically, I didn't know they were centralized. Do we want to know the story? Do we want to know how you got banned from these strip clubs, Gino? This is a tough road. To Give get me the first tough, paragraph tough. of the Wikipedia page on this story. Uh, do you know how you can tape a dildo to your head? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, yes. that's the starting of the sentence. I feel like you might know it how that ends. The question. Mm-hmm. I've never seen a Wikipedia. Sorry, story. <laughs> yeah. I saw, I've got the cup. Sorry, guys. Oh, I, hey, John. Hey, John. I just, oh, you're right, Gino. The intern. I, I, that person out there shot me. <laughs> oh, no, are you serious? I just. Oh my security God. Tissues. He's grabbing tissues. He's it's not the same guy, is it, as uh, before? Different different guy? Uh, Mark David Chapman? Yeah. I, I didn't get his name, Scott. I, <laughs> you got to ask him. You got to ask him who to address the book to, who to address the autograph to. I do up. so many. Ad- I don't have to hold it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're <laughs> really holding a tissue to you. Your space well, I'm really amazing. shocked. <laughs> yeah, this is strange. John, John, <laughs> yeah. Oh, I know oh, you. You're one of the most famous people in the world. Oh, he's alive. We should say for the listener. I I I I recap. Who's this guy? My name's Andy Manders. I sell chairs. That's all you need to know. And we're all asleep again. (laughs) (laughs) Shit. Hello, it's me, Morpheus the Dream Lord. This guy never leaves. This guy started talking about chairs. And you all get so bored you just fell asleep? Yeah, who gives a shit? You all simultaneously, instantly got so bored you fell asleep. Who gives a shit about chairs? Yeah. You're here in the dream world. Yes, I saw you earlier. Oh, that's right. (laughs) (laughs) Um, I had so much going on. I I forget forget who I see. Oh, yeah. I mean, we're only... You know, four of the many, many people that you're attending to right I'm now. I'm right? currently having conversations with all of the millions of people who are either asleep. It's by or time dangerous. zones, isn't it? And unless there's, na- I know you're not in charge of naps. Uh, yeah. Uh, if nap dreaming does not come here, that's a separate guy. That's a separate guy. But yeah, if you we fall asleep at night, you're here. So, <laughs> right. Yeah. Oh my. Um, well, that's kind of. It is kind of like time zones, but uh, people can sleep with them. If you go into a full REM state in the middle of the day, you're coming yeah. here. But like you're doing the East Coast people first, so you're getting a lot Tends of like, to be. hey, get the fuck out of here. Dreaming. Yeah, I'm dreaming. And then here, suddenly right. it goes into oh, the. Wee, wee, uh, hey, Chicago. Hey, uh, oh, I'm dreaming way. in Chicago. And okay, then suddenly yeah. like you're like, hey, bro, <laughs> I'm Colorado? doing a dream. The world starts. 
starts in New York and ends in California. <laughs> well, I don't necessarily want to do the other places in the world. <laughs> let's hear you, let's hear you no, do keep it. Going in the direction you Characters from every country. I'll do a pass. We'll get to <laughs> Hawaii, no, so Japan. No, no, thank you. <laughs> Laos. Um, well, I'm, I, yo, so I'm so glad to see you guys again. I was, I've, been list, I've been watching people dream about the podcast episode you're doing, and they say it as picked up. Oh, okay, they, really? They say they are lost. So is it, so is it June 6th? where you're from uh, right now let me check um <laughs> no it's uh it's one. Oh, it's one. Oh, yeah today okay. is one June today is one, one. I see, we have yeah. a different sort of date system oh, here in the different dream calendar world. yeah this is still day one you still have an apple watch but it just says day one it on just it. Says <laughs> one. okay yeah so it's just yeah. one long continuous day so far oh okay <laughs> yeah i mean sorry I'm really, well you know we'll this is like that movie insomnia have you heard about that <laughs> yeah yeah, I have. What did you hear about insomnia? And in what insomnia, did people think I heard about? Zsa Zsa Gabor no. starts to... Oh, different... Oh, no, yeah. This is Robin oh. Williams. Oh, oh I Al Pacino. Know. Yeah, different guy. It's, one of the, lesser known, one of the Williams? lesser known Brolin Nolan's. movies. Yeah. Brolin? Christopher Brolin. <laughs> right here, brother. Uh, hey, fucking do you guys, Nolan, bro. Do you guys mind if I go talk to this dream camera crew over here? <laughs> yeah, sure. No problem. You just met us. I was camera guy. just woke over there. Nothing he keeps leaving the table that we're recording at to talk to other people. John, you're not shot anymore. No, I... You know, I... Stop the bleeding with these tissues. Well, no, you're also, I'm doing this fine. is your dream self. Also, you're dreaming of yourself right now. That's why. Okay. That's why, why I have hog. these huge mu- yeah, hog. Okay. Yeah. I said muscle. Like, I was going to. You like- said muscle, and I said hog. Who's surprised? <laughs> Not the listeners. <laughs> Yeah, you've got huge muscles and, a, and you're well endowed. Good for you. Sure, good for me. Good for good for you. You, <laughs> by the way, good for me. me. It's Watching fun this. to be around well endowed people. Makes you feel confident. Sure, yeah, confident people. It's fun to be around them. John, you it. you might be bleeding out. I'm I'm concerned. Oh. We, I feel we like should, maybe well, we should I'll go let back you guys to that. Wake up. Good to see you guys. Yeah. I'll be here forever. Thanks, Morpheus. Uh, uh, oh, 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 oh my gosh, John. Well, oh, do you mind if I just uh, sit in my dog tube for a little while? <laughs> Gino, it's yours now. Do you mind? Yeah. <laughs> I got. Fu- I think you dripped blood all over the inside. No, nope, never mind. I had a very different kind of dream. <laughs> oh, okay. oh should I, maybe I should be mixing this in an open wound. Well, so, Andy, I feel like we'll never wrap everything up that I talked about. So maybe we'll just take a couple of follow up questions. Yeah. Follow up questions about yeah. chairs. Just do whatever you want. Whatever, 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 whatever is striking what's, your interest. I mean, I do ex- have chairs for sale. What's the most expensive chair? That's a good question, right? Uh, in the wor- in know. my catalog, the I most guess ex- a gold chair. <laughs> okay, what's that? Gold. Well, yeah, so in the world, he's right. Of course, a gold chair. I don't sell gold. You don't chairs. sell gold chair. So that's not the most expensive in my okay. catalog. I was kind of in the mood for a gold chair, yeah. but you don't sell them? Okay. This guy's off mic more I, than Sprague it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's just not something that comes up a lot, so I don't need to keep gold stairs. I'll look elsewhere. Don't worry. I'll, I'll find a gold chair somewhere I mean, else. I mean, you know, I'm sure I can do something just as good as a no, gold I chair. No, I mean, no. I'm just, I'll like, just what, go what on the internet. What is it about gold you want? You want something ostentatious? I got a, gold, I got a chair made of watches. <laughs> Made of Ooh. watches. That's a status symbol for you. If, if it's the status, if you want like a solid gold chair to kind of show off where you are in the world, uh, a chair Why made of watches. Why would someone make a, a chair off. made out of watches? <laughs> Who was that? Who was that? <laughs> TikTok. Oh, I think that's another person. <laughs> yeah, I don't really remember who that is. <laughs> I don't even remember. Um, but why would someone make a chair out of out of watches? This doesn't make any sense. Uh, to somebody me. pitched it to me. They came into my store and they were. It was a craftsman, and they were like, oh. "I can't sell this on Etsy." And I was like, "You know, I like the look of it." Is this kid? The he's time, a, he's the not time alive keeper. anymore. He's oh, he's not alive. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was going somewhere else with it. Where going? <laughs> a friend of mine named uh, Maxwell Keeper, the timekeeper. Oh, that he was with him. Oh, he was with him. But I wait. think it was the timekeeper's idea, and this other kid was sort of the crafty but one. But he's not alive anymore. That guy's dead. What happened to that guy? Uh, he got hit by uh, two buses. Two buses going at each other. He got, he meet, he got meet Joe Black. <laughs> yeah, he got meet Joe Black. <laughs> yeah. Wait, so one bus and then another bus, or one two bus buses and simultaneously? Bus, and then he got hot and came back. Whoa. Yeah. Incredible. That's Holy incredible. shit, that's wild. Well, I've wow. lost track. Uh, uh, here, here, I have a question for you. Yeah. Um, do you have any chairs? Do you make any chairs with thicker legs? <laughs> I can't help you. That's I don't agree. Th- I'm not going to Antimicrobial <laughs> thicker legs would be yeah. primo. I don't make any chairs that are specifically antimicrobial. <laughs> like, I think that's something you're going to have to deal with with, yeah. like, some sort of. I can wipe you're it down. You're going to have to get yeah, some microbes down. Down. I, I got dude wipes. Yeah, just throw a, Promo condom, code. Just throw a big condom. Gino. <laughs> dude <remember>. wipes? <laughs> 
<laughs> well, right, look, I, for dudes. <laughs> did we cover everything with the chairs? Because I, I we're so. running out of time here. I think great. So, yeah. All right, so we need to take a break. When we come back, we'll have a film reviewer. That's very exciting. So uh, great, great segment, around? Andy. Great segment. That was a great segment. Hey, Andy, Gino, can I in the break? Can I talk to you guys over here? I don't know you, but it would be fine with me. I'll just do all the. I'll read all the ads. Yeah, read the ads, and we'll just kind of over there in front of the twelve production crew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's us in the spotlight over my video village. Come with me. All right, we'll be right back with more Gino, more Sprague, more Andy Manders, and a film reviewer right after this. <laughs> Comedy Bang Bang, we're back. Gino and Sprague and Andy uh, have returned from their just conversation. Just looking around, everything's normal. This is a fun show. Is it Sounds good? Usually you don't say just looking around when you're looking around. <laughs> Why are you narrating your life right now? I'm just looking around. I can see you're looking around. I it's weird. Wanna... Look at me. Okay, Focus I, on me. I just don't want to right now. So I'm closing my eyes. Yeah, Why are I, you averting my eyes? What is going on right now? Um, we're going straight <laughs> to the next guest. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm just because you know, I, I don't want to yeah, talk about it. It's weird that you guys won't look at me, but uh, we do need to get to our next guest. He is a film reviewer. This is very exciting because I love the art of film, and uh, he is a guy who reviews them. Please welcome Zuby Condorino. <laughs> Hey, Scott, it's fantastic <laughs> to be here on your audio podcast today. <laughs> Zuby Condorino, so, so great to meet you. It's great to be here. I'm so happy. I don't to know why you. these guys are laughing, but I... I, I, I might have, you know, my name is a little unique, and people sometimes find it particularly entertaining. Yeah. Both parts of it, Zuby and Condorino. Zuby you Condorino. Really, your name yeah. kind of sounds like what John Lennon said when he flew away. <laughs> yeah, he did. Uh, yeah, it's the kind of a syllable, thing that I'm sort of into these days. <laughs> we don't have time to catch you up on how John Lennon is alive and here and all that stuff. I, I've listened to the show before. Oh. I'm pretty, pretty uh, versed in what's going on here in the CBB universe. Okay. All right. Fantastic. Well, Zuby, you're a film reviewer. That's yeah. right. I review how films. interesting. Yeah. Yeah, you, that's what a film reviewer does. That's you review right. films. Yeah. I do not critique them. I simply review them. What does that mean? You don't critique them? Meaning you don't offer any sort of criticism about them? You What do you do? I don't do any type of uh, scholarly critique <laughs> at all. Okay, you're more of a man of the people is that's what I'm right. getting from I'll tell you accents. what movie you open the paper. I'll tell you what movie to see this week. Weekend. Oh, okay, and that's because of the quality of it, or because of what sort of struck me with the film. Oh, okay. Well, do you, do you have an example? I mean, we have a lot of films coming out this sure month. Sure, I do. Scott. Okay, Fast and the Furious Nine. Fast and the Furious Nine. I saw this in theaters. Mask off. Now, okay. <laughs> okay. Good background info. All right. <laughs> Can I take Wait a second you. to swallow some spit in my throat? <laughs> no, I no, have no. to be talking constantly on this <laughs> podcast. Do whatever. No, well, no. Take, take a moment. Go ahead. Thank you. I would There's say enough swallow guys. the spit before you start talking. Yeah. You know, do it. Before you're You do things your way, Gino. <laughs> I'll do things my way. <laughs> so, Fast and the Furious 9. Visually, this is one of the most exquisite designed and executed films of the modern era. One thing I didn't appreciate is the last scene of the movie. Oh, I don't know that we want to know Whose the... idea was it <laughs> to have all the Fast and Furious folks, people we've grown up with in the series and love, sure, Dom. talk in German accents for the whole final scene. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever made that decision, I'd like to find them, bear hug them, and twist their neck off their body. <laughs> okay. Oh, really, yeah. really upset you. I've got a lot of questions here. Yeah. Because, so, Sprague, hit it. Did it. Okay, so you're, you're sure you saw Fast and the Furious <laughs> yeah. In theaters, mask off. Okay. Popcorn the size of your leg. Why is it important for you to <laughs> tell us that it was mask off? Why do you think we need yeah. to know yeah. that? It makes me like you less, actually. Is that... Is that do you think that, like, it's like we have to factor that in when we're reading your opinion? Oh, he had his mask off when he was watching, so... Hey, don't get me wrong. I think you're an intelligent guy. I think <laughs> you're all <laughs> Why bring that up? That, that's not what I said. I didn't ask you about whether I was I think done. you're don't all get very wrong. intelligent. Don't, don't get him wrong. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> what I... I kept the mask off to get the popcorn into my mouth. Okay. okay. So I didn't know if <laughs> I you guys would understand I, 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 Let me ask my question again. I don't <laughs> need to know why you wanted the mask off. Why do you feel the need to tell people reading your reviews that the mask was Hey, off? who's writing anything? <laughs> Wait, Wait so, you don't write these? <laughs> no, I say them on YouTube. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. 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 My nephew sets up his iPhone, and I talk about the movie. Now, uh, I'm still not sure you saw 
four fast nine to be honest. Yeah, you know. Because I don't believe they would be speaking in German accents. Is, are you sure? That's what threw me off too, Sprague. All right. <laughs> So you know him. <laughs> yeah, I'm, a big, I'm a big fan of the podcast. He's well versed in the comedy course, bang bang universe. But Andy Manders, I his made first that appearance. decision this early because yeah. I didn't want to make a mistake. <laughs> Were there cars in this movie? Um, Fast ones. Okay. And what about other characters? Furious? Uh, the th- characters were furious. <laughs> the sure. cars were fast. The popcorn was going faster. <laughs> did you, did you see Mortal Kombat? Is, is the movie the, or the video game? The, the new movie that came You're out a film reviewer. Movie. Talk about the movie. Okay, because I did see the video game played at a theater. <laughs> mask around my forehead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, well, now my question is, why is it? Yeah, like, yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. Someone rented a theater That's to play video games choice. on the big screen? Oh, no, my question is about the mask on the phone. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> I was sitting in a seat that was aligned with a air conditioning fan directed right at my forehead. Cold forehead. I'm not complaining because I was in a very beautiful seat with a good view of the screen. Hmm. Well, you know, Andy's a, Andy's a uh, chair salesman, so maybe he sold chair, those. If you yeah. need a chair, I can hook maybe you up. Maybe you seem to love seats. Do you have the most fascinating part of my story. <laughs> do, do you have a coupon code? <laughs> yeah, I do. It's Gino. <laughs> oh, okay. Smart. I'm, I'm there. I will now never buy a seat full price. Yeah. You don't have to. Good. That's good, good haggling. Did do you come with films you wanted to talk about, and I mentioned Fast and the Furious, or, are you, or, or can we throw anything at you? I can't you can quite throw tell. anything, and I can review anything. Anything too. <laughs> With the no pandemic, right, I, 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 I lamps, sort of got lamps. into. What's your r- opinion of lamps? Lamps. Well, I sort of think you know visually they're the most exquisite thing we got going. <laughs> oh, okay. Design That's wise, what you said about the other thing. <laughs> what the Fast and Furious movie? Yeah, it's the most exquisitely designed and executed piece of film. Right. Okay. We're talking about lamps now, or am I missing something? <laughs> yep, we this lamp, lamp, what lamp I, are we talking honestly, about? Honestly, you might be the only person not missing something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think it's the four of us who are missing big time. <laughs> So you review objects and movies on your nephew's YouTube page? Well, I got into reviewing anything possible because movies were sort of going away. Sure, there the weren't pandemic. a lot of them. Yeah, yeah right. of course. Yeah, so, so I got into reviewing, you know, things like lamps. Like this is wisecracking guy. <laughs> okay, no. It's already me. established I'm not stupid. So, uh, <laughs> or you don't think you I'm are stupid. mentally insane though? Yes, I. Or, you, or at least you used to certifiable, be. as was proven by the Ferris wheel. <laughs> yeah. Well, so what? What are the types of things that you reviewed during the pandemic? I reviewed uh, cookies. Oh, I mean that's not bad. I mean I would like to watch cookie reviews. That's you know? great. I mean I got a I got a package of, of Oreos. You guys had Oreo cookies? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. You had the cream in the inside. Uh huh. Yeah. They're great cookies. Visually, the packaging is exquisite. <laughs> sure, of course. <laughs> One of the most exquisite <laughs> designs and execution of a cookie package we have today. I actually don't think the Oreo cookie package is anything remarkable. I think like Pepperidge Farm has a more remarkable packaging because it's like in yeah, a square looks, thing that's uh, oh, shit. Your, your, like your name again? <laughs> My name is Andy Manders. Andy, I would. Don't worry, he's not I coming back. He's not coming back. This is the only time you'll see me. So <laughs> <laughs> I think it's the only time we'll see both of you. <laughs> So we don't really need to keep this track a, of a lot of retirement party for Andy Manders and Zuby Condorino. No, call me Andy nope. for this conversation. Well, this Andy is, I'm coming back. Andy and Zuby, I don't think that's true at all. I think you guys have a, a way to keep mm, playing in this game. If that's you right. Know. What? <laughs> Just trust me. Just stick with the plan. Okay, yeah. What yeah. are you what talking? You have two headsets on, one for the podcast and one you keep talking to other people. Yeah. Just stick with the plan. What were you saying? Trust the plan? Trust the plan. <laughs> stick with the plan. I've, I've got the another feed chest. down here in the tube. Yeah. <laughs> From, from I'm so John, John. Uh, oh, me John and John, we've got a little here. English. I, I, got, I, I was in the tube for a while. Oh, I got some right. of my blood back in me. I'm feeling yeah. better. Oh, good. Okay, so it's inside you now. You just <laughs> right. scooped it right back up. That's why I'm laying on my back because the hole it's in the hole. <laughs> oh, okay. Got my Ben forward a little. So Zuby, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> get off my fucking microphone. <laughs> you sorry. <bleeding. laughs> We only have five. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's uh, you got to do it like uh, Bruce Springsteen and Little Steven. Is that his name? Little Steven. They're always like leaning into the microphone. You right. know what I mean? You know who I'm talking about? Yeah. Music yeah Silvio. Fan? I'm a big, huge Yeah, exactly. 
Did you think Obama and, and, the, and him shared microphones like that when they did their podcast, right? Yeah, like, they were always they were sort of leaning like, into it. Leaning each backwards. Other. Like, That's that the only way Bruce Springsteen can use a microphone. <laughs> he doesn't well, he's fucking his crazy. Back up against did Benny you t- see my review <laughs> of that podcast? No. no. I'd love to Tell hear us it. about it. Uh, uh, Springsteen and Obama. Sure. Yeah, no, yeah. We know yeah. what we're talking about. <laughs> Visually one of the most exquisite <laughs> podcasts uh, designed and executed. Okay, yeah. Yeah. yeah the, the art for it was good. It's you know, you see Springsteen and Obama, you wanna you wanna it's listen to it. It's crazy that Springsteen chose Obama. He was just in the crowd at a live concert yeah. singing Dancing in the Dark. Some dude pulls raises him up, up, pulls Obama pulls up on stage. Yeah. He's like, let's do a podcast. Yeah, right. Season of a podcast right there <laughs> crazy. on set. Well, Zuby, in the middle of the Continental Zuby, Airlines Arena, they recorded a full season of a yeah. podcast. Second Most longest Bruce Springsteen concert ever. <laughs> so, Zuby, did we cover your thing? <laughs> Exquisite something. I or whatever. came here to talk about. Uh, well, what's well a, no, we didn't cover my thing. What's your most recent movie that you've seen that you enjoyed, or that or you anything that you want us to ask you? <laughs> Quiet Place Two. Uh, <laughs> What I came Ooh, here John, to talk about. Do you about, know John Krasinski's six foot three weapons trained and has been trained by a Navy SEAL in hand to hand combat? I read that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you did? Yeah, in a magazine. <laughs> All right. Very cool. I came here, uh, to, I was going to review some movies and also talk about sure. a book fair that I'm putting on. <laughs> oh, okay. Good for you. That's, That's cool. That's some wholesome shit. I like that. Love I got to a hear copy of Heidi yeah. right here if you want to start If you're interested in selling that and making top dollar out of come down to... Are other people going to come and sell books at the book fair? Yeah, okay. come so on it's down. not a book fair where people come to buy books. It's, a trade. it's exclusively for people selling books. We got, Somebody's got to be buying them if they're <laughs> selling <laughs> We got <laughs> buyers and sellers. And I'm telling you. Yeah, maybe I'll get a booth. <laughs> Good. Yeah, grab a booth. Bring your own. It's a BYO booth situation. You're going to bring a booth that you're selling? I got to a booth. The... I've never had it used for it, but if there's okay. a book fair laying right. around, I'll, I'll set I'll set. It's over up. at Griffith Park this whole weekend. The whole park is covered with books. <laughs> oh, I thought you meant like a booth in a restaurant you were going to bring. Because <laughs> you're a chair guy. Yeah, I meant that. Like a Denny's. Oh, okay. yeah, like a, it, like okay. a corner booth at a Denny's. Built-in table. table. I, that's yeah. fucking got it, got smart. It, it. That'll so be comfy. Comfy. Yeah, you always request one when you go into a restaurant. Why wouldn't you bring one everywhere? Those things drive me nuts because I wear short shorts all the time and oh, yeah. I have to like spatula my hamstrings off yeah, the exactly. fucking leather. You gotta watch out for that. <laughs> so the book fair? <laughs> yeah, all this weekend. Okay. <laughs> Good to know. Good to know. Any location or any, any uh, all of Griffith the Park. The whole park, Griffith Park. The entire park. The whole thing. Every square inch. We're gonna have the Lord of the Rings trilogy. We're gonna have this uh, Heidi book that uh, the chair, fry, chair guy has. <laughs> yeah. And you're, you're from the Los Angeles area? <laughs> Are you just oh, living out sorta. here? Where am I from? <laughs> That's Sometimes I'm from Chicago. <laughs> sure. But I grew up. Where'd you grow up? Me, I grew up in the South Shore in Nassau County, Long That's Island. exactly where I grew up. <laughs> okay, that makes really? sense. Really? Yeah. Did, what did you guys me? know each other? <laughs> no, I think we're different ages. I, like I can't that tell. Strategy. I Why? How old are you? How old are you? I'm, I'm in my 20s. Yeah, 20s too. <laughs> oh, so that, that makes I a lot of sense. 22. So, Zuby, you must be able to name all the subway stops from... Sure, know, yeah, from, just like Gino can. Yeah. That's right, I can. <laughs> oh, good. Okay, okay good. Well, good to know. Sweet all right. Stuff. Well, cool. <laughs> I believe him. What'd you think Brooke about... Neck. <laughs> <laughs> Oyster stop. <laughs> oh, my God. Sand he's doing it. Way. He's doing it. He's doing it. He's you know, great at it. Do you under... Don't, don't you hate on that subway when everyone will start jumping up and singing and clapping and dancing? And I singing swear. a song you don't know, but you want to fit in, so you're sort of just mouthing the words. This you're mouthing getting, along to It's Showtime. This guy's cadence right. is so standard. Like, I feel like I'm talking to Andrew yeah. Dice Clay right now. <laughs> I feel like Ooh. he's mixing in pre, pre-prepared jokes. <laughs> it's like he wants to go know. off. It's like he's about to go off, and then he kind of does it. Interesting. Oh, I'm about to pop off, but I don't. Wait, is this a segment? <laughs> yep. Zuby's pop off. This is Zuby's pop off. This is Zuby's pop off, baby. Wild, wild west. I used to live downtown. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're here on Zuby's pop off. I'm gonna. I want to talk about something that's been particularly bothering me. <laughs> the way some of these politicians deal with the public is. 
You know, I don't want to actually. <laughs> You're I'm retracting it. I'm going to step back from this one. He was just about one. to pop off. And he decided I'm, gonna to pop. I'm just going to relax He's for a pop minute. Pop on. He popped right, right back on. Sounds like popped a, right back another off. segment. Like Zuby rolls it back or something. Zuby rolls it back. Zuby rolls it back. <laughs> Zuby rolls it back. Okay, Scott. I think I've hit my limit. Okay, good to know. Good to know. I've never seen a guest tap out before. <laughs> Incredible. All right. Well, well, luckily, <laughs> luckily, we are running out of time. Oh, thank fucking Christ! Wait, we we're we not going to play. Uh, would you rather? For, no, would you rather? For nothing immunity? like that. All Unfortunately, right. we only have. We what only you, have what time. are you rewriting right now? What the fuck have you been no, I just, I just <laughs> stick with the plans. We only have time for one final feature. That, of course, is a little something called plugs. Ooh yeah! Roll plugs theme. <laughs> Ooh, short and sweet. I love it. Diamonds in the Wind by Lame Takes. Lame Takes. Thank you so much for Lame Takes. <laughs> Very nice. All right, what Great are we name. plugging? Gino, what do we got? You mentioned something about this summer, or season this, three? Yeah, this summer, August. We're in the middle of uh, dads and grad season. Sure. But, uh, when you're doing your back to school shopping, why don't you save a few bucks on the side? Fuck the Trapper Keeper mm. and buy yourself a little stitch of premium. Uh, mm. Yeah, just for a month. You Actually, wait till like episode five of my show comes out. Then buy it. <laughs> Use your one free month. Listen to the whole thing. Listen to get the, the, the full nine. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. got it. Get That's out of the, the hack. hack. But we yeah. got new episodes. Season three of the Gino Lombardo show. I, I've shit hits the fan this season. That's oh, all this say. sounds amazing. I got to catch up with this because I do, I have no idea. You've alluded to it a lot of what's been going on with you. It sounds incredibly dramatic. Oh, you find out by the end of the season. Okay, good. You do. I do. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, the, check my your email. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> um, Spraggy baby, what are you? Uh, well, you know, of course. Of course, your segments. I'm, I'm my segment, of course. Uh, I don't even remember. What it was, <laughs> yeah, neither do I. I. I just want to say, you know, I I came here to play a good game. My dream has always been to be here at Comedy Bang Bang, mm-hmm. sort of get mm-hmm. all the way to the end, and I just know I can trust my alliances. Mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. know, and in the end, it's I'm going to plug. I'm going to offer something up. Okay. I want all the listeners of the Patreon that I support, Sean Distance Patreon. Of oh, the Church of Sean Distance? Yes, the Church of Sean Distance. How would you guys leave that Patreon? I want you to go over to Gino's Patreon. <gasps> Whoa! Because I want to strengthen my alliance with Gino, of course. Incredible! Smart. I like it. So all of my Patreon listeners, just go over to Gino's. You know, this is probably funnier right. stuff over there. There's a whole, oh, this whole thing. Good to uh, know. And as long as we stick to the plan, you know, I think we'll be fine. Trust the plan, yeah. Let go of me. Trust the plan. <laughs> Let go of my leg. Okay. Just grab your leg here. <laughs> all right, good to know. Okay, uh, Andy Manders, uh, what do you want to plug on your last appearance? I will plug a Yes, my first and last appearance. I would like to plug. Well, the chair business is going to pop. You get the CBB bump. Yeah, yeah, of course. That's going to be great. Yeah, we haven't talked about where you can get them or anything like that, but people will figure it out. Promo code Gino gets you the watch chair (laughs) discount. Just fan the demand and they'll figure it out. That's another feature. Figure it out. (laughs) Figure it out. We're back, baby. Nature (laughs) Healy. I would like. But you knew John Lennon right off eyesight. Is there. (laughs) Are you like a fan of listening to Beatles podcasts and shit like that? Nope. Oh, interesting. He Ouch. appeared in a comic, a comic book, as I yes, recall, didn't and he? Yes, Scott, that's interesting. I would like to plug a podcast called Screw It. We're just going to talk about comics. Ooh. The only podcast in the universe where two guys talk about comic books, <laughs> Kevin Hines and Will Hines. I think it's pretty fun. I like that. Father yeah. and son duo? Uh, sounds like it. <laughs> <laughs> Given the difference in their cultural references, it seems that way. But, uh, I've never been able to determine it. I don't go too deep. I'm just, uh, I'm just a casual fan. Oh, of course. All right. Well, Zuby Condorino. <laughs> Yeah. Zoom. Great to Come on, baby. Yeah. 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 Those plugs. And don't be upset. People, it's hard to live up to a name like that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Zoobies pop Let up. me tell you about the last podcast we were I went so on. so excited. <laughs> it, and and, and then, it let you down? Well, no, it's just when you hear Zuby Condorito, it's like, damn, this is going to be amazing. It was, it was good. I think it was pretty good. I, I, I can see Zuby coming back. What I can does see someone need to do to be amazing on this show? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. 
it's just that <laughs> stick around for a while. Yeah, yeah, just stick yeah. around. Yeah. <laughs> Brad Evans and Nick Cirelli write you a song yeah. is one way to do it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> bring, Not, bring give car. me their address. <laughs> Email. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for clarifying. I almost gave you a snail mail address. I, was th- I had it out. Oh, I do know close. their house. I got problems not- with snail mail. It takes too long to get my letters to where they got to go. Good notes. <laughs> <laughs> I want to plug a the podcast, the Sloppy Boys podcast. These guys are making cocktails and talking about them. They got a Patreon. They got free episodes every week. I've been on the podcast myself. And Zuby Condorino has? Didn't fit in there either. <laughs> <laughs> I think you fit in here. I really, I think, I think, you're, I think it's good. Zuby, I think you're a very important part of this alliance. I'm not I, saying yeah. it worked, but I'll say you fit in. <laughs> I, it's, it's good. It's just not Zuby Condorino yeah. good. That's all we're Zuby saying. Zuby Condorino's like riding in a convertible in Palm Springs. You know, there's something yeah. that you're just not doing. It's tough coming on this show after five or six people have been talking. Yeah, yeah. I know. Well, I know. Especially John Lennon was here, of course. A big fan. Yeah. <laughs> we know, we know. We all are. That's not your fault that John Lennon showed up here, Zuby. <laughs> We're all big fans of John. We yeah. love John Lennon yeah. here. He's in a bloody dog thing right now over yeah. the ground. And, he, and he's not coming out. <laughs> okay, good to know. He, he almost dead. sounded like he almost did right there. <laughs> yeah, <it's> not, <laughs> for the first half of that sentence. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I want to plug Freedom. Comes out on Thursdays. You know about it. Me, Paul F. Tompkins, Lauren Lapkus. Okay, let's close up the old plug bag. Open that shit. You gotta get up in there. And you, you know what to do. Open up the club. You gotta open up the club. You gotta open up the club. Open up the club. And don't mess around with it. Okay, wow. is that it? Okay, good to know. Ended very quickly. Uh, good, nice and short. I love it. Like yeah. I was saying before, no one uh, usually they've been extending them, not cutting they them down. They know we're back in so. studio, and they just yeah, want us to good. have all the fun we can. All right, that was closing remix twenty twenty one by Harry Potter four twenty. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, to Harry Potter four twenty. Uh, guys, great I want movie visually. Oh, okay, good to know. <laughs> I I want to thank you individually before we get to the vote. Uh, Gino, great to have you back. Thank you so much for showing up. Pleasure to be here, Scotty. Thank Uh, you. Sprague, of course. Great to be here. What more needs to be said between us? You're my best friend. Of course. And uh, Andy and Zuby, (laughs) we'll talk about it afterwards. See you next week. (laughs) See you next week. (laughs) The dynamic reviewing chairs. We'll be reviewing the theater engagement. Incredible duo. (laughs) Incredible. Well, let's uh, let's get to it. I mean, uh, it's time for the final vote. Oh, right. Every episode of Comedy Bang, Comedy Bang, Bang, Bang ends. ends. Yeah, yeah usually we fans. don't do it on mic, but I thought of the course, listener might be uh, interested to hear all who right. we vote off this time. So, uh, <sighs> all right. So, uh, I guess uh, we need to do a okay. public vote. So, why okay. don't we start with uh, Zuby Condorino? Who uh, I vote for that bleeding rock and roll guitarist <laughs> over there who to never be on the show again. <laughs> for John Lennon, never to be on the show. John again. Lennon never come on this show again. I'd like to huge see that. Happen. That's okay. Huge. Good to know. Huge. huge. All right, uh, Andy Manders. Stick with the plan. <laughs> I would like to cast my vote. That Sprague the Whisperer never comes oh back. My oh, my okay. God. Okay, this is, I'm scrambling uh, now. Uh, Gino. I'm scrambling. Gino, okay, who are you go. voting here for? Here we go. I would like to cast my vote. Here we go. Alliances were formed. I'm freaking out. Drama was had. We saw some this. exquisite visual <laughs> spectacles. They were exquisite. But I'm going to have to vote Gino Lombardo off. Do you know, with yourself? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. One vote Wait, One vote can you vote for yourself? I think you can. Yeah, I think yes. yes, you can? Yeah, I think Andy, so. you could have voted for yourself. I should have. <laughs> All right, John Lennon, who are you voting for? Get out of the tube. <laughs> who do we got? Well, I'm feeling much better. <laughs> no one asked. Just vote. You didn't think that was... I right. vote for mm, the chair guy. <laughs> the chair guy? Totally fair, yeah. <laughs> All right, so we have one for the chair guy, one for John Lennon, one for Sprague, and one for Gino. Okay. So, and I have the final vote. Oh, no, well, what about my vote? Oh, oh, my sorry. Go ahead. I thought you were Jeff, but okay, yeah, yeah. what's your vote? No, well, I, th- I think you were trying to get my alliance. <laughs> no, it was a little fuzzy. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Maybe you should have a vote. <laughs> Look, I got to vote for Zuby Condorino. <laughs> it, just, it just makes sense. That's fair. That's fair. Wait, John, John, John agrees. Fair. That's fair, John. Uh, that's fair, John. So I'm going right to call now, you John now. Wait. Okay. So, so right now, what, 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 every, 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 every person has a vote except every for me. Every person has a vote, and I'm the final except vote. Except for the final vote. I, yeah. of course... Had all the power all along. What? I played an incredible game. <laughs> and of course, 
I have to vote for Sprague. I mean, <laughs> oh, he said Sprague. No. Wait, you're all asleep. You're all asleep. You're all asleep. <laughs> Thank Tis God. I, Morpheus, the Morpheus. dream lord. Was that a dream? Oh, oh I changed my vote. <laughs> Yeah, I'm changing oh, for Morpheus. I'm yeah, changing, wait, what? No. I changed. I changed it for Morpheus no, 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 too. No, no, wait, no. Yeah, okay. It's the only yes. one I bring back. <laughs> Morpheus, you're out. No, what? No, All right, we'll see you next time. Thanks, bye. <laughs>